just going to notch around the, po around the post. So we've got a notch to go into the corner there. Oh. Nice solid copings these. Yeah, this is the hump in the wall, so the bed is pretty much non-existent. morning on this fine 12th of June at half past eight should have been here at half seven but we had to sort the van out but, uh, we've already started on this this corner has been took down rebuilt with um, brick tour in it because it's pushing over this is a retaining wall I don't know what's below but so far we haven't found there's is that, is, that, is that one header in the wall? Hmm? That's the only header I've seen in the wall. Is that the, it's not the end of the wall, is it? That's just the end of the wall. Is it? Yeah. Right. There's no headers in the wall, there's no tie wires in the wall. Um, and the council don't want to know about fixing it. So, they were going to get it repointed. But with the dust and everything, I said to them, well, instead of repointing it, the wall's pretty sound, apart from this top bit, which is doing nothing, as you can see. You've got the fence panel and you've got the base panel so the bottom of their garden is a foot lower than that so this is doing nothing at all but it's all rotten cracked and moving so i've suggested take it off to here so it's just a bit too high for kids to climb on and mess about on and then we're going to put a, instead of these crappy co uh, brick and edge we're going to do a get, get a concrete flags cut them in half and just put a nice clean coping on top so here's here's the middle this is where we're going up to so all that's coming down to here straight along and then as we go round it's going to step up with the steps I think we might end up taking one more off because that's the first crack one and then it's pretty good after that the whole thing's leaning but the top the top is the worst bit of the leaning bit this bit's pretty sound I suppose the bottom bit's where it's extra thick so it's going to be more stable but the top bit's just the it's like it's top heavy it's, it's about 60 years old so we're working our way up there today we're getting a grab we're getting um, Steve Steve Napiers I've got Steve, our driver from Napier's coming to pick all the gear up. So um, we're going to pile it up in the parking bay at the front on the concrete and just get it picked straight up. There's not a lot, there's not a wagon full, but it's still cheaper than getting a skip. So we're going to get stuck into this today and uh, get it down. Just do that again, Al. Show them how loose the wall is. top useless bit that's doing absolutely nothing I suppose when the houses were built my theory is there wasn't any fences there so you obviously had a little wall a little wall in your garden stop kids falling over and stuff and then as the years have gone past residents put fences up make it more private and a bit safer which renders the top of this the parapet on this retaining wall useless and pretty much dangerous now if you look down the entry there that corner's been done and they've took their wall right down it's about this high and then this side's been fixed that top it's been dropped a bit pointed corner repaired see how they go and then this one here the council have done this one and used a very soft brick and then um, we must have been short of cement when they built this one. In disgrace. It needs to be. These things are like engineering bricks. These are really hard bricks. They look like Accrington's, but they've got us like a sand face on them. Ugh, look at that. So let's crack on and get this knocked off.
I mean, it's that time because that's arrived. There you go, it's, it's looking. You better be able to fit the fence now. Mm. We can see how bad it is. Stuff growing out of it, slugs inside it. That's what an AP wake up call does for you. Hmm? That's what an AP wake up call does for you. What? That's what an AP wake up call is called. Huh. So you're dropping it, of course. Hey? You're dropping it, of course. I have done that. Yeah. That's it. I know, they tend to ask her. She's, she's a, a 30 foot husband or son of a husband. She's been down. Oh, is she? Yeah. Right then. Actually, I need to make a phone call to say we're ready. Oh, it's been busy while I've been away. I haven't been away that long. But he's moved all in. Every single one. And obviously, I can't. It's a tiny little load for grab wagon, but that is... The grab wagon works at the same price as a skip, so... It's a lot easier just throwing it on the floor and putting it in a skip. What a trooper. I have to give him a bonus for today. He's moved all that and he's taken the brick and edge off. And he's got this down. Oh, there's a tire out in it. That's the first tire I've seen in the wall. There's, there's just a little bit left to go. Like, there's the stuff we put in. 
but obviously we've, we've took, we've took an extra course down now. That's great, that. There you go. We've obviously got this sort for it just to barrel round. So yeah, brilliant. I'll give her neighbors a ring and tell them we're ready. By the time they get here, we'll be ready. And even while he's taking stuff off, we can still be chucking stuff in the bucket. So yeah, made up with that. Nice job, Alex. Let's just keep a few. Keep a few over for it. If, if, I'm not ten there. But yeah, got safer now. Right, I better get my broom and start tidying up. that that's the bulk of it done you can see where this wall used to be on the fence there and now it's got a bit of still got a bit of a wonk on it but we're here to just repair and re rebuild and rebuild is a big job because obviously it's a retainer so that's ready for its coping now a couple of bricks to patch at the back but there's more bricks to come up the top yet so what we take off there we'll do some patching and then we'll, we'll square up the steps at the same time. So um, we're not here tomorrow. We're going to uh, Leeds to do a VR event, which we've been invited to. Invited direct, so that should be good. Should be good fun. You might even see it on the channel, we never know. So that's us. We're gonna sit and wait for the grab wagon now. Once he's done, we'll brush up and get going. So, happy days. Can't be too nearly dark. Here we go. Napier has arrived. So, <laughs> that's two scoops gone already. So this will be no time. I'll get you on time lapse. Hello, it's Friday the 12th of July and we're back at this job. I don't know if we've even shown any of this job yet, but um, we're here to put the top, tops on. We've not filmed, Alex probably hasn't been in work for three weeks now. He's uh, been off with Nate and the last couple of days he's been ill. So he's back today. And, um, I think we filmed this. We dropped it as you can see. Yeah. See the walls been one, two, three, four, we've dropped five off that. And we took some off here. And we've um, this morning we've took another few off the top and I've squared up these two two steps, one there, one there. There's one to fix there. We're not taking much off that anymore. And then there's one to square up there. And then we've got all the copings, which um, you will have seen by now. Turn that. Leave the two flags ripped down in length to 300s, which is the perfect size for these walls.
and um, putting these on is going to keep the water out because the wall is knackered it's a retaining wall so it's a, it's a massive job to drop it and redo it so it's a a, a repair so um, I'm going to jump up there and get that up done quick and then we'll get these on as quick as we can it's 11 o'clock now it's been a very slow morning um, I've just got this in case we need to notch out around the fence post I don't think we do but we'll see and we're going to have to cut them down at the back of the shed because the shed's up tight against the wall so we're going to have to cut them back as along the yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to get the tape now and measure how long this is and work out whether we start with a full coping or full that way. So, so anyway, that's the um, update now. There'll probably be a lot of filming on this because um, there's obviously not a lot of work in it, so it won't be a lot of time lapse, it'll be a lot more action stuff. So, let's get down here and get sorted. Oh, yeah, I've just been back for uh, the polycarb for the mixer and spot board and stand for this. I've been working out of a bucket, which isn't ideal. And this is the uh, repair we've done. I've pointed a bit of it, and this a lot of it's been the top of it's been rebuilt. So um, it's a lot safer than it was. And like the top, the top was doing nothing. I think I've explained already, but it, the fence never used to be there, so the wall was like the end of the garden. Stop kids falling out basically. And the tops, the tops loose, so we've took it off, and then we're just gonna put the, and it's down low enough so people can't climb on it. Sorry, it's left high enough so people can't climb on it. So there you go, let's just let's get cracking. We're set up. Square heads done. First coping's on, which has had to be trimmed because the fence post is quite far over here. We should get away with the rest of them. And yeah, that one's well away. Alex right, Square is on at that end. Lines up. Scaffolds on the line, Alex. Pull that corner out. That's it. Perfect. Going for a 40 mil overhang, 45 is a bit too much, so we'll just have to do a bit of trimming. We've got, we've got the grinder with us, so not a problem. So when, as you can see, we're SBR in the wall and we're SBR in the copings, and it's trying to rain on us, so we need to pull our fingers out because it's getting on for 12 o'clock. So um, yeah, we're all set up now. Anyway, we've done all the fiddly bits, so let's get stuck in and get these on. We'll probably get these on and go for our dinner. There you go, we're off. Here's the wall just to prove we are painting it. And Alex is doing the the flags down the floor. Got a nice 40 mil over on. It's actually it wanders on here because the walls are all shapes. So the wall's wonky, it's out of level, it's all it's all over the place, and as usual, you've got to try and make it look as straight as you can. So the the tail end of that the, the wall sweeps back in so it looks like the coping sweeps out. But once they're all on together. It looked fine. The main thing is the top of the wall is sealed, so there's no more weather getting into it and causing this. So, um, yeah, a bit of cleaning up to do because the, the beds, the, there's a hump in the wall, so the beds are super tight here. We start off with normal beds at the, other, at the two ends. So, um, oh, there you go, a bit more. So, uh, yeah, I'll put it pretty normal speed for the next couple. Right, we're getting two on per scaffold, so we're on to four. 
We started off with one, then we've done two, then two, then we move again, and then the piece is going at that end. It doesn't really matter which end you put the piece on because it's a public footpath, so the piece just goes where it can. Nice solid copings these, and they should never fall off either. They're also bonding the top of the wall together as well because there's, I think we found two towers I've well, been knocking this wall about. Right? Oh. <laughs> Alex just doing his Bob Ross impression. Don't need Bob Ross's Googling. Right, I need more for me. <coughs> Please. Probably got enough to do that. No. Oh yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, this is the hump in the wall, so the bed is pretty much non-existent. Tiny perps as well, because the bigger the perp, the more water is going to get through it. Ready for you, Aram? Look at this bar being here, this none I've come in handy. Yeah. This without spinning it, it's quite a big help. fall away from the garden out onto the footpath. Cool.
Uh, I think this neck, this one's still the same. We're going to start getting a bit bigger after that. Okay. Maybe a bit. Seen a bit. I'll just get that motor for a while. You'll be back in about half an hour anyway. Right. <laughs> It's not me recording. Yeah, I'm only here to delete it though. Yeah. I'm ready. So just as they go. There we go. So far so good. This one's made up. Nice straight coping, nice solid wall again now. I think she will get it repointed eventually because it isn't it isn't brilliant. The top of the wall isn't great. It's solid enough. But um, it's not pretty. I think she wants it to look nice. That's probably a winter job when people haven't got the washing out and they're not sat in the gardens because it's surrounded by gardens here so and people's front doors. So, um, yeah, we've got uh, two cuts to do here. It's ended up with us just under a half. No, it's 500, so just just up, about a half it is. So, um, 
we're going to cut two two at 680 so the it's two big pieces instead of one small one because one small one looks a bit crap so get these cut down and get them in Do you always have done because we followed them. Oh. I've unfollowed them now though. <laughs> they have replied and said okay, thanks anyway. Step one done. Full full, big piece. Now I'm going to get the scaffold up, get this next one in, and then um, see how I get on. We'll probably get customer to change the fence before we come back and do that hopefully they might well fingers crossed to do it tomorrow and then we can get that done but uh, we're going to have to cut them around the shed definitely because um, too close so let's shift you up and get on the next step
How's it going? Uh, Muddling through. Me, me, I'm sure, but the job's going well. <laughs> there you go. I insist that you got that last one on. Yeah. So there's a 370 cut there, and then three piece, three. Oh, 370. Probably, probably two and a cut. Yeah. That broken one's 350. Is it? Yeah. What's that one? Oh, it's like two dogs, like 270 or something. Right. We've got four in the van, haven't we? Yeah. Four full ones. Three. Have we? Oh yeah, three. Yeah. I think that's 2700, so that's three. And then one left for the cut. Wait, so, yeah, so, wait. So we've got enough. We have. Three full ones. Oh yeah. I have to get a 2 by 2 tomorrow. And cut that down. We would have had enough time and broke the flag. Birthday tomorrow, you can't believe it to me. <laughs> yeah, so there's that to do. Top course to come off that. The fence is being done tomorrow. And then um, when we get back here, the fence will be up. It's being put on a on post, so it'll be stepped back off the wall. And then we can get this bit top bit finished. So, yeah, looking good. Nice secure wall now. The only trouble is because we're working on a footpath, we've got to clear everything out of the way, take everything away. This is always a pain, but it is what it is. So, we'll get tidied up. And then we'll be back here Sunday morning. Good Sunday morning. Yes, this is the phone because I forgot the camera. So I downloaded the stuff yesterday. I was playing with the new Mac, so it's been forgotten. So we just stepped off the last of this course, which is an absolute pig. Every other brick fell off. And then um, customers put their fence on, a nice solid fence. So what we're going to do now is come along. I'm just going to notch around the post, around the post. So we've got a notch to go into the corner there two notches, full one, notch, and then a piece there, so we've got five cuts to do all together, and mix with a new batch of uh, SBR, and we're going to give that another paint, I don't, know, I don't know if it still works, it's dried, or we'll just to bed it when it's wet, but we're going to put more on anyway, so, and there's the others, looking good, nice solid job, yeah, that's nearly done, and the customer's keeping the bricks, so we have to get rid of them, but poor Arch has to clean them. <laughs> Be careful, mate, the whole wall's moving. Going from this end now. That's it. Like three to one, isn't it? Yeah. But it doesn't look it. The uh, cuts are done. It's our first cut. And it's a full piece. And then it's the double notcher at the bottom there. And then there's the piece for the for the right there. So um, yeah, once that mix is done, we'll get them whacked on, and then have a good tidy up. You should get a bit of Bob Ross commentary and just put it over this. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to get Wes doing it. He's a man now. Makes the same noise, does it, doesn't it? Yeah. Didn't he die from all the chemicals and the paints? Yeah. That's really shame. Just show the wall, the wall's done too. Right, first one is in. Notched in nice. Obviously there's no motor goes around the fence bit. This one's a full one. We can't film them going in because we've got nowhere to put the phone. We've got no way of mounting anywhere, so let's get this next one in. And we're gonna have to no no, gonna have to do a mix first. So whatever you just did then do that again. With a dash more cement in it. So do 10 to 3. T -t take seconds with that mixer. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. While he's doing that, I'll get, the, I'll get this painted and get the, um, the wall painted. Is the other four one right? Nothing that I'll. You know, send that up, I'll do that as well. 
Sorry. The full one if you send that up, I'll paint it. There we go. My notching in worked. I'm quite pleased with that because I measured it before we tried them. <laughs> so everything fits. Nice big expansion if the fence moves or expands or whatever. Yes. Nice job. So, um, a quick brew and then um, a good tidy up. And then um, we've got to go and see next door but one about a wall there. So um, see you after break. Weeks since uh, break. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the video because uh, it was my birthday the day after, I think. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload, which is a massive help and we appreciate the support. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex uh, with a with a wall, with a wall. And we will see you in the next one.